rule out here. You miss three pars in a row on the short course, you gotta spend a day in the midsummer inside of this little submarine right here. I'm gonna tell you what, you don't wanna be there, but it'll make you a stronger person. What's going on you guys? We're here for day 21 of Vlogmas at none other than the Flying Armadillo Disc Golf Course. We're gonna start off by playing the gold course, the mini course here this morning. This afternoon, we're gonna play the longer course. That'll be day 22 of Vlogmas. Sitting here on the critter bench, it's got a fun little riddle talking all about the course and what's to come, as well as some of the little knickknacks that are attached to this bench. This place has tons of character, amazing spot to bring the family, come out for a day. You can bring your own beverages. They've got a little three-story deck that you can look off, 360 view, just an awesome property. Starting here on hole one with the dinosaur hole. I love dinosaurs. Super excited to get it going in this way, right around a T-Rex. All right, this is hole one of the par two course, 150 feet, right around the T-Rex here. Pick your poison left or right. I'm gonna go back in. Taking my faith here. A little too low, but slid up for a par putt. A little kneeling putt to start the day. Remember, this is a par two course. So every two is going to be a par. You got to score aces to score under par. So if we can finish this round under par, that'd be awesome. Hole two is the monkey hole. 117 feet, blindly tucked left around the corner. I'm going to drop it on Heiser out of my hand. See if it could fade early enough. Just short, got a par putt. Another par here on the monkey hole. We gotta get some chains, come on guys. Hole three they call the lefty hole. Looks like they want you to go with this little low gap, but that's way too small for me. 115 feet, I'm gonna go spike forehand with my justice. Talking vertical out of the hand. That's a bit long. I got a putt coming back. Uh oh. Tricky little spot for a big fella. Had to make a tester there for par. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one's really. I forgot about this one. All right, hole four is the canopy hole. 106 feet. There's a little hole in there, probably eight by eight, that you can sneak your disc in through the canopy. See if I can gauge the distance here. These are such touchy holes. It's a distance I'm not used to throwing the disc yet, so I'm gonna touch on my VIPX harp here. I was online with a little canopy hole, but about four feet deep of it. I guess I should have thrown it like 12 miles per hour instead of 14. Another little squatty straddle stance there. This course really makes you work on your tough angles at your putts. It's a fun course to practice. Hole five is the straight hole. No explanation necessary, 125 feet, right at the bucket. Straight back in, you know it's a job for the face. Oh, almost aided by the cedar branches. Getting sick of these bars. Proper thumb placement, nice firm power grip. This dude's got a freaking arm, I bet you. Oh, 
Hole six, the sunken basket hole, 120 feet, tucked to the left, sunk into the earth with a little bit of a rise leading into it, allowing the disc to slide right over the cage. Skip shot with the harp. Oh my God, I thought it was gonna skip left. If so, I think it would've hit, hit the chains, but a little too straight. Feels kind of wrong, but it's kind of cool too. Hole seven, the tunnel hole, 105 feet, dead straight. Got a really low ceiling here to start, making it feel kind of sketchy for the backhand for me. I might have to go forehand and just beam it at it just for the lower point of delivery. I'm gonna try the nice low back in. I can use this rock to kind of create some leverage here. That was such a tricky angle, I put it way too long. The cedar was blocking everything but the diving Anheuser putt. Let's go. Hole eight, the island hole, 111 feet. Throwing out of this little treehouse tee, pretty cool. Onto a rock island green. Pretty small little island, so if you miss it, it's gonna be punishing. Guessing we might have a drop zone there, or maybe we just take it. Oh yeah, the pedestal of shame, wherever that is. We'll find out, hopefully not. Going with that harp again. There we go. Just enough to get to the bucket. Not too much, not too little. Another par. We all think the flight numbers on this puppy are. Oh, that's like the, that's more of a saver than a tilt, hands down. The par train continues on hole eight. And I'm working on my balance. Here we are in the sign hole, 86 feet. Got a bunch of stop signs and you name it in the way. Also, there's a little ramp made out of a sign right in front of it that you can kind of roll it up into the basket with or skip it. Because of that, I'm gonna throw a low backhand, try to pop it off the little ramp. All right, taking my face right for that caution ramp ahead sign. If we make contact, we probably got a high likelihood. Oh. Got one of the mini signs in the way. A little obstructed putt. Oh, had to squeeze past that beware of armadillo sign by about three inches. Par streak is rolling. Hole tens, the persimmon hole. I'm guessing these are persimmon trees. A lot of skinny ones in the way of the basket. 105 feet, I'm gonna take a little Anheuser with my faith. Hopefully it kicks off a tree into the bucket. Luckily it did catch a backstop tree, so 18 foot comebacker. Having to do a lot of work on this little short course. Fun practice. Hole 11 is one of the memorable ones. The lighthouse hole, 77 feet, dead straight. Perched about eight to 10 feet in the air in this lighthouse. Make it in the bucket, it drops down for you to grab it. Miss it, it's a tough putt. Feeling like this is the jump putt range here. Had a good line, just need a little more juice. Kind of a tester putt. Got a par here. Such a fun hole. Trevor discount through the slot. Rinse and repeat till you make an ace. Hole 12, the Big Bird Bell Hole. I love alliteration. And I love big birds. Ostrich up there on the tree. 108 feet to go. You got some bells in the way. Let's see what we got. Straight at it with the faith. Try to beat these bells. Oh, just too low. Sorry, you guys. Having some length. 
Mike helps on these grains. Another problem. Gimmicky holes are lots of fun, especially when hung from a pole. With shoots and screens and ricochet hoods, it's the ultimate gimmick hole. Throw at, throw at the chute or throw through the screen, take a shot at a ricochet hood. When you finally hit that gimmicky ace, you'll know when that gimmicky is good. Hole 13 is the gimmick hole. 78 feet, you got a lot of ways to bounce into the basket. We were thinking to go through the chute on top, but a group just played through and someone bounced enough the yellow slide into the bucket, so we're switching our strategy up. Oh, a little too much gusto. Hit the lime green hood, bounce behind the bucket. Probably got another tricky putt. Another tricky putt out here at the Armadillo Short Course. Our streak still going, 13 holes in. Hole 14 is the roller hole, 82 feet. Through this tiny little gap, they got a ramp right in front of it, it's rolled in, so we gotta try to. PIPXR forehand roller. Missed the ramp, ended up sliding down it. Another par pup. Another par, four more chances to get one under. Hole 15 is the tank hole, 79 feet. A lot of questionable options. Probably gonna take the skinny forehand. I'm gonna go with the kneeling harp shot, try to get that nose up. Would you look at that? Too much power once again. Finally, my par streak comes to an end here on the tank hole. Had another tough kneeling look. Gotta settle for bogey. One up. 16 is a hanging basket hole, 124 feet, straight at it, elevated from a chain under this oak tree. Backhand fade. Mm, chain high, just left. Two more opportunities for a one-timer. 17 is the pond hole, 99 feet. There's actually not any water in the pond. It says it's under construction. I think it's a bit of a gag because I don't know that they're planning on ever putting water there. Do have a bridge in the way. Low ceiling off the tee, straight away. Try a forehand. Gave that one a legit ace run. Now I got a 50 footer. Too much off the tee proved pretty fatal there. We're two up now. Hole 18 is the Alamo hole, 104 feet. Plays into a little bit of a shed, arch doorway entrance. Doesn't extend much above the basket, so you really got to throw a dead straight line at this one. You definitely want to put it close to the building because if you're on the wrong side of this one, it could be a tough putt. How we're about to end it up with an ace there at the end. That looks like a near unmakeable putt. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. My only chance there was a basketball putt. Hit the top and bounce through the other window. Come on. Wouldn't be the Armadillo short course without a knocker one to end it. There you have it, you guys. That's day 21 here at the Flying Armadillo Short Course. Tons of fun, little part two track. You can bring your family, bring your friends, bring someone who hasn't played the game before. Just have fun, let loose. Don't really worry about your score. If you're ever in the San Marcos area, come check it out. They've also got a par three course that we're gonna be playing for day 22 of Vlogmas this afternoon.